right back to what you were just talking about, that freak accident that claimed yet another life on the boulevard. A woman, let's get out to Steve Keeley at the scene. Yeah, let me update Bob's situation as he's talking. The police just reopened the southbound lane. So, Bob, they still have vehicles on the scene. It looks like a tow truck has shown up uh, at the scene, but the inner lanes and the outer lane southbound are open. So this accident happens at 10 of 3 this morning, and where you see that tow truck's headlights looking right into our camera, uh, to the right of that is a Toyota Scion flipped over, and it's on its driver's side. So they're going to have to flip that over and then tow it off the median and police are in a little cutout so they're not blocking any lanes and hopefully they're safe there on the left of the left lanes there actually happens to be a cutout right there but we're come back to the crosswalk here and you'll see this no crossover sign just obliterated and what witnesses told police was this toyota scion at 2:50 a.m is driving erratically down the street so other drivers knew something bad might happen and had called police to say hey there's a uh, drunken driver or somebody driving crazy down Boulevard here up in the Oxford Circle neighborhood. He goes up this median first, takes out that sign, goes up the other median, takes out a street light, then flips over. And the accident was so violent, it's a 34-year-old woman, a 22-year-old man driving. The man crawls out of the car, out of the sunroof, then he goes back in, pulls the woman out. She's dead on the scene. He leaves his identification, her identification in there. Then he tries to rip off the plate physically with his hands, which is now covered in blood. It's all bent up. He couldn't get it off because it's screwed on. And then he finally runs away, even though his identification's in there. The car's registered, they believe, in his name, this 22-year-old. So he takes off, leaves his 34-year-old female companion dead on the median where police found her already pronounced dead on the scene and they removed her body uh, 20 minutes ago from here so this is sort of a hit and run but it's not considered a hit and run it's a leaving the scene of a fatal accident so yes he ran there was only one vehicle as we know involved in this and it was just driving fast and erratically causing a fatal turnover flip over accident here in the middle of the boulevard at Devereaux. So police are on the scene investigating and what they're going to do is they're going to flip that car over, tow it, take it to their impound lot, get a search warrant and go in and retrieve all the other evidence in there of this mangled car and hopefully find this guy who ran from here, probably hurt himself. The blood could either be from the woman when he dragged her out or from his own blood since she's killed in the accident. He's probably hurt well, pretty bad too. And uh, Karen, they're probably going to find him somewhere, but they were looking for a trail of blood and they don't know where he ran. They know where he lives and they're probably waiting for him at his house and looking for him in the neighborhood surrounding here, seeing if there's a wounded guy limping around, bleeding badly in some bushes somewhere, because we don't know the extent of his injuries. But judging from the way the car is and the fact that his companion sitting next to him is dead, he's probably hurt pretty bad himself. Karen? Mm. It's just, you know, a horrible tragedy. Steve, thank you.